Shooting and control points. The first thing we need to do is we need to establish the robot's position on the job site. Sometimes this is called a resection. So we want to go to the instrument control panel and we want to go down to the ellipse. And here we've got a few options, but we're, what we're looking for is setup. We want to set up the instrument. So once we click that, a, a blue piece of toast pops up and it says select and measure the points that you want to use to complete your resection. Well, in this case, I want to start with control point number one. I could start with two, I could start with three, but in this case, I've got three control points and I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to start with control point one. Once I have my point selected, and I walk my prism over to that point and physically set up on top of it on the job site. I make sure that my prism pole is plumb and I press the shoot button. It says it's measuring the 360 cat eye target and now I've got my first control point shot in. My next step is to add a second control point. So I'm going to select from my screen CP2 for control point 2 and now I'm going to walk my prism over to control point two and once again physically set up on top of it with the prism make sure my prism is plumb and I'll press the shoot button. Once again it measures with the 360 cat eye target and it gives me a message unable to calculate accurate station location. Now this is where we need to be a little bit careful. You notice that my instrument actually shows up on the plan showing me approximately where I've placed it. The other thing that I'm looking at is it says that my two points are unreliable. Basically what this means is that we don't have a very good triangle. Now it will still let us set up only using those two points. However, I like to do a little bit better job with this. So I'm going to now add a third control point. So I'll select control point number three. And once again, I'll take my prism over to control point three. Make sure that I'm plumb and on top of that point, and then I'll hit the measure button once again. So after I have all three control points shot in, you'll notice that my, my reading on the screen says that each of these points is unreliable. I have three points. Now one of the things that we allow you to do with the Trimble Field Link software is we allow you to play with this setup. And what I mean by that is I can select the middle point, number two, and I can say don't include this point. And if I do that, you'll notice that my orange piece of toast goes away. All right, if I keep it in, it says unable to calculate accurate station location. But if I get rid of that middle point, it says all of a sudden now my instrument position is within zero feet. It's right on the money. And that's what I want to see. Now, depending on what your tolerances are, you may accept a, a sixteenth of an inch out or maybe an eighth of an inch out. It depends on what you're doing and what the task is. But this is an ideal setup. Now you'll notice the instrument positioned itself on the job site. We've got some good control points and we can hit the set button now and now the instrument knows where it is on the job site and we've got a valid setup. And now we're able to either go and lay out points or collect points.